Hey everyone, this is Carla Jenkins. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the September 2022 certification like list update. So today is Friday, September 30th, 2022. And I provisionally passed the um, certified in cybersecurity. I've done a video, which I'm going to link here. So whether you're watching this in the blog or YouTube, you would see my video on my take about that. I always use my channel to help as many people as possible get uh, certified and have all the exam tips necessary. But I just came back from that. I also uh, want to talk about my accomplishments for this uh, September. So the first thing... I want to talk about is my renewing my AZ-700 certification. So for those who don't know, that's Microsoft Azure Network Engineering Associate. I was one of the beta test takers who passed it the first time. So I'm one of the first people to renew. I will do, you know, a follow up video about that since I was one of the beta test takers. So if you're watching this and you're in the process of renewing it, I can give you some tips on that. But that was uh, very big because my uh, my deadline was yesterday, which is September 29th. So I am good until September 2023. Uh, what it tests on is Azure networking. You do have to have a background in networking. This is not a an exam that's entry level. I would recommend if you are new to Azure, uh, first do AZ-900, then do SC-900 because networking is a form of network security. And then AZ-104, which is Azure Administrator Associate, and then AZ-700 because, as I've always said, that was the hardest associate exam that I've ever taken. And I did pass it. It was the beta, but still it was hard. You have to really know your cloud networking skills. But passing that is great because I've received a lot of interest and a lot of paid opportunities through AZ-700. Uh, it is in certain job descriptions when you're doing cloud network engineering because it, it's so hard. But uh, I did pass it. I'm good for September 2023. Uh, number two is, if you watch my video, I passed the uh, Databricks Lakehouse Fundamentals Accreditation station exam so it was this four module video where you have to pass it by today september 30th in order for you to qualify for a databricks free exam voucher i did that part by the deadline so i'm looking to see whether or not i received it I, of course i will let everyone know about this but the number three thing is what happened today with the certified in cybersecurity. so this one and the Databricks were not on my 2022 uh, list that I started January 1st of this year. However, I did want to put them in there because they were certifications, uh, especially since the CISSP, which is the senior level cert, is on my January 1st, 2022 list. And both the CISSP and Certified in Cybersecurity exam are created by the same organization, ISC Square. Uh, that's the reason why I'm taking the, why I took the exam is to know the format and just to know what to look for. Also, um, it was an opportunity and experience because it was the first time in over two years that I had to go to a physical testing center to sit for an exam. All of my other exams since the pandemic have been online through um, Pearson View on View online proctoring. However, even though this test was administered by Pearson View, I had to physically go in the testing center. So that was a different experience that I didn't have to do for over two and a half years. However, I did it and I passed it. I did a video about it. What's next for October? The big thing for me is uh, AWS Solutions Architect Professional. And I also feel like just renewing my SE200, which is the security operations analyst, and also to uh, also do AZ104, uh, uh, which is Azure Administrator Associate, because I passed that in April of 2021, and that's coming up for renewal. Uh, that was one of the final 
ones where Microsoft had two years instead of one year and just accomplishing and squaring all of that away frees me up to do a lot of other, you know, paid opportunities and work. And that's something that I would also say in this video, renew as soon as possible so you can get that out of the way so you can focus on, you know, getting a job, your your current responsibilities and getting other paid opportunities because then you can say, okay, I'm current for another year. And being current in a year out puts a lot of potential employers at ease that you're not up to the gun of, oh, well, I need, you know, I don't know if we bring her on, will it expire? So that's a tip I wanted to put, to put out there. But the three things for September for this month, one, renewing my AZ700, two, um, pass into Databricks, Lake House, Fundamentals, accreditation exam to get the free voucher and then number three uh, passing the certified in cybersecurity en route to a different higher level uh, isc square certification exam so that's all for right now as always if you're watching this on youtube please click the like subscribe and the bell icon to never miss any videos in it cloud and project management if you're watching on the blog check out my uh, newsletter at carlarjenkins.com forward slash contact. Thank you all live and replay viewers for watching. I'll see everybody in the next video.